Hi guys, I'm back with part two. I can't believe I have part two, but my my um, SD card is full of pictures and I haven't taken them off yet. So my video ran out quick. So anyway, continuing on with the card, the Mother's Day card. Oh, let me check, make sure I'm in the... Um, oh, i got to adjust this just a little bit. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, the Mother's Day card, the gift card. Um, I think I already explained everything that was on here. The sentiment was also from my husband's um, uh, stepdad's sister. It was in the box that uh, she um, sent to me. And uh, um, what I didn't uh, tell you in the first one is that when I fussy cut these out of paper, I mudge podge over them to make them a little more uh, firm. And uh, it was a technique I think I, I saw on um, uh, Fiona's um, uh, Jennings 644 YouTube channel where she fussy cut some uh, things out in of paper or something and uh, she mudge podge over it. And uh, it it gave it a different texture, you know, a little more firm. And uh, let's see. Okay, I went to the inside, and uh, um, the gift card of the flavored tea. I thought this was really cute. And uh, um, yeah, and the tea comes from. Um, oops, wrong side. Uh, www. And these teas are so good to sit down in the evening and have a, a cup of hot flavored tea cinnamon vanilla and I have a licorice spice and a, a pumpkin spice and uh, let's say pumpkin spice licorice cinnamon vanilla up oh, there's one more but they're really really good and I thought this is a really great idea for a, a Mother's Day card to to give to um, let the mother know that hey sit down relax it's your day have a cup of hot flavored tea and to, let's see um, I don't have the back finished yet so I, I thought that was really cute I like that card and the paper line that I was going to show you that I used for that was uh, DCWV and it's called Whimsy and uh, I really like the paper in this. Okay, now for my little tiny haul from Big Lots. Last, or uh, two weeks ago, when my husband and I went in there after payday, I always like to check at Big Lots because they seem to be, had been removing their scrapbooking area. And then two weeks ago when we went in there, I, I did a haul on a lot that I got from there where they uh, stapled like six packages of, of different things um, together for two dollars and I had gotten a lot of bling and some dimensional stickers and some word stickers and letter stickers like thickers and and stuff like that and uh, I was really excited so there was a, a, a little bit of a change in our, um, our work where we had to do a cutback so I'm like okay I, I wouldn't do a whole lot of shopping for my scrapbooking stuff and uh, other than just the supplies that I definitely needed to keep my projects going like adhesives and stuff like that and uh, well we went in there today because I had to go get stamps to mail out two thank you cards for scrapbooking stuff that was given to me and I said to my hubby, how about if we just go in and check Big Lots out because he needed a folder for a paper pad to cover up his papers while he's out and about on the property working. Well, of course I had to go into the scrapbooking section to see if there was anything new added. But I had seen on a couple other people's uh, videos that they had paper pads there from Prima. And I'm like, oh my gosh, for $4? Uh, Prima paper pads and they were the 8x8 eight eight. so 
So I thought, well, hmm, maybe I could fit one paper pad into my budget. Well, they had K and Company, and I like K and Company paper because they they have the double sided. It, it's double sided and it's a heavier paper. Well, they had this paper stack there, and this is really really pretty. I really like this, and I like doing black and white cards and uh, um, different projects, putting black and white on. Oh, I'm sorry. I was doing some dabbing. Oh, I got glue on my fingers. My husband did, um, he cut some PVC pipe for me to make uh, the, the daubers. And uh, my, I got some of the, the color on my fingers. But okay, well, we'll go along here. Um, the uh, Kane Company pack. This is, I never can find a, the name of the paper line. I don't see the designer, 36 sheets. Uh, I can't see the name of it, but it's very, very pretty. Oh. Let's see back here. It's very, very pretty. And it's double-sided. Isn't that pretty paper? Oh, I'm not sure I'm liking that, but I like the other side. Busy, busy, but I can use it to make flowers or to do the pants. I just, I like the, the color. I like the black and uh, it's not white. It's just like a cream color. Wow. That's unique in itself. Oh, I like that, the striped. Ooh, I like that one too. Oh, I like that. That. I definitely like that because of the butterfly. I have this problem. It seems like I have to put a butterfly on everything I make. I'm really like into the butterfly thing. And that's, that's nice. I like that. I just don't think I have to... I have to... Um, just try... Okay, well, anyway, that was the paper pad. And then I saw the grommets. And I'm thinking, okay, I could use these for, uh, like, I'm going to uh, do, try to do an 8x8 eight eight, uh, steampunk layout. And I'm trying to gather up a bunch of um, materials to make the steampunk. And I've been buying up a lot of metal pieces and, and some uh, the um, the wood pieces and, and uh, things of that. And, and uh getting different um, ideas on how to put things together. I've been collecting uh, the clockworks and chains and stuff like that. Well, when I saw this for a dollar, I'm like, oh, wow, I could use that because I could paint it and, uh, um, you know, bend down the, the little thingy-doos on the back and um, um, lay them down on the, the 8x8 for a dollar. Well, then my husband came around from him looking at things, and he showed me this. Now, this is all from um, uh, Making Memories, and this is a grommet toolkit, and um, I didn't see this, and, and, and if I did, I just didn't really pay any attention to it, and he said, you've got to get this, and this was like only $3. But what it is is heavy. <laughs> That's what it is. It's heavy. It's uh, what you can use to make the holes for the grommets. Um, if I can get it out. See? 
and they're really heavy but you you pound it and you make the holes and, and I know that most everyone knows what what this is but he was excited and then after he explained to me what it was after I seen what it was you know I'm like oh wow yeah for three dollars I have no idea what the original price of this would have been but this is going to work out great and what I thought is I love doing minis you know the chipboard minis and uh, some of these um, I could use for the um, holes because I like doing the ring um, binding um, I haven't yet I have a cinch and I haven't yet used it but I like doing the rings because I like putting the ribbons on the edges of doing the the minis with the paper bags or, or whatever but that to me that was a really really good find so that's my little mini haul little tiny mini haul and then I, I wanted to share my uh, cards with you that um, um, I had done so far this week I'm trying to challenge myself to do a card a day so everybody I hope you have a, a blessed day a great day um, it's raining here uh, really really raining um, let's see I guess that's all please don't forget to go over and hit the like button on my love and a scrapping and I thank you guys for watching my videos and I have to learn not to talk with my hands so much because I I don't know I've always been a hand talker talk with my hands and um so I yeah I guess that's it so you all have a great day and thank you again for watching my videos and uh, um, I will try to do more and maybe have something of interest for everyone um, or send you off to places that are interesting <laughs> okay bye bye everybody have a good day <laughs>